Yep. Yep, that's laughing boy, all right? All right, let's go. Right, sir. Sun Hill. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, nothing to worry about. I wonder if you could help us with a little information. About what? About where you've just been. Sorry, pal. Yeah, well, if now's not a convenient time, perhaps we could go down to your office. This is your lunch hour, isn't it? Mm. Right, he's driven around the block three times. We've given him the benefit of the doubt. Whose turn? Good afternoon, officer. Is there a problem? Are you aware that curb crawling is an offence, sir? I wasn't curb crawling. You've been seen driving slowly around the block several times, pulling up and talking to the girls. Yeah, I was asking for directions. Really? It's amazing how many male drivers seem to get lost around this particular block. Right, can I have your name, please? Who takes the money? Some old dragon. Well past the sell-by date. It's a bit rough, is she? Yeah, not much. Mind you, they all end up like that, don't they? They're expensive. Nah. I wouldn't pay serious money for them. It's 40 quid odd. Four? No, oh, that's just a straightforward up and under. I ain't interested in perverted stuff. They do with that, do they? Of course. Got all the gear. How many times you've been? A few. I usually go during the day. So it's too crowded at night. Queuing up they are. House is owned by Carol Shaw. Looks like she's the madam. Previous? Plenty of swimming, nothing else. Going up in the world. What about photos? Got some good stuff. Hunters coming and going, girls in and out. Followed Shaw taking the girls to the doctors. <laughs> Very touching. Keeping an eye on them, more like. And you want to raid when? Well, we thought if Dave went in as a punter this afternoon, talk to one of the girls, gets what we need. Mm. He can't weigh in straight off with a load of questions, though, can he? So he'll be in there, what, an hour? About that. OK, it's three o'clock now. We go in at half past three, out at the latest 4.30, OK? We'll need, what, six officers? I'll square that with Mr. Munro. There's really no point in waiting another week. June. Ladies, batch of curl crawlers, Sarge. Any second timers? Oh, several. Oh, well, warning letters on the way. Mm, that solved the problem overnight, wouldn't it? June, ours is not to reason why. No, ours is back to nicker, mate. Eh? Took the words right out of my mouth. Yes. Hi, um, I'm a friend of Simon's. Simon who? Simon Ellis. Tall, dark. Comes in his lunch hour. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, he recommended, um, this place. All right. Come in. <laughs> so what's your name, love? Dave. And how do you know Simon? I work with him. Oh, yes, he's a solicitor's clerk or something, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. So you're in the legal game too, then, are you? Yeah, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll just take you through what we have to offer. Now, it's 25 for relief, 30 for French, and 40 for full. Greek's an extra fiver. Do I pay you? Yes, you pay me 15 up front, and the remainder you pay the girl. Right, that's fine. There you go. Thank you. Oh, bye bye, love. See you. Come through, I'll introduce you to the girls. Right, can I get you a drink? Oh, uh, yes, I'll have a whiskey, please. Lovely. Take a seat. See anyone you like? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yes, madam. Uh, good afternoon. Oh. Um, I'd like to talk to someone, please. Oh, certainly, madam. I mean, uh, someone higher up, someone senior. Concerning what exactly? Uh, concerning this. 
Right, this is obviously quite a delicate matter. The gentleman to whom this is addressed? My husband. <clears throat> I haven't seen you before, have I? No. No. What's your name? Dave. Monday. You all right then? Yeah, why? Uh, well, you look like a scared rabbit. <laughs> Do I? You don't have to be scared of me. Just have a good time. How old are you, Mandy? How old do you want me to be? Twenty-five. Tough. <coughs> yeah, look, I ain't got a sec, yeah? What? What, can we just talk first? Talk? Yeah, I'll find it a bit difficult just to go straight into it. Well, it's your time. You can do what you want. I've got half an hour. So what do you want to talk about, then? Uh, I don't know. You? You. Me? <laughs> so do you want to have half an hour? War and peace, is it? Yeah, a bit like that. How long have you been? On the game? Yeah. Long enough. Why did you get into something like that? Well, most of the lasses I went to school were. Either working in a shoe shop for 100 quid a week or changing the kids' nappies in a DSS bedsit. Decision wasn't so hard. So you're married then? No. Girlfriend? You? Yeah, I'm getting married next year. Really? He's a lucky lad. Yeah, he is lucky. Getting a woman who knows what she wants. A career woman. Well, think about it. I work when I want, where I want, and I earn good money. Look, it might not be the best job in the world, but I bet I've got more control over my life than you have. That wouldn't be hard. Anyway, he's been asking me for ages, so I had to give in eventually. To live with me mum and dad at the moment. Up north? Yeah. Go up every other weekend. And you know you do this, then? Jealous sort, mine. That's love, though, innit? I told him I were dancing in a club. Dancing? You, uh, you into all that, are you? Well, those are from when I were a kid. Don't do it anymore? Nah, not ballet. Well, there's a dance class every Friday night at Sports Centre. Sometimes do that. And it keeps you fit, doesn't it? What about your mum and dad? What about them? Do they know what you do? My dad thinks sun shines out my backside. Still a little girl to him. My mum, I don't know, she suspects, but well, she understands. She loves me, doesn't she? Now, what seems to be the problem? This is the problem. Yes. So. My husband is not a curb crawler. I suggest you discuss that with your husband. It's a mistake. This is a sensitive issue. We make sure mistakes are not made. My husband wouldn't stoop to using a prostitute. This is a warning letter. He will not be prosecuted. It's a mistake. Mrs. Duke, a man giving your husband's name and address and vehicle details was observed by our officers curb crawling. Maybe the car was stolen. Has he reported it stolen? No, but... Look, I appreciate how difficult this is for you, but you must also appreciate that we weigh up all the factors in a case like this. We do not send out these letters until we're a hundred percent sure of our ground. Really? Really? The woman, the woman who runs this place, she seems a bit of a character. What's she like? Carol. Well, she'd prefer me horizontal 24 hours a day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they're all like that. Just interested in how much money they can make. 
It's not a problem, though, I mean, I can handle it. Because I told her I said I work when I want, not when you want. You grow up fast in this business. So how old are you then, Mandy? You're not one of them blokes who was trying to turn me away from the path of sin, are you? No. No? No. Good. So? Well, I'm legal. Just. I'm 16. See, I might look young on the outside, but in here... When they're near, I'm all grown up, huh? It's the sweet 16, eh? Well, you better hurry up if you want not doing. This way, please. Again, may I ask you to speak to your husband about this? Thank you. Who's I, eh, son? Sorry? I'm a bang on Salgan. What? One of the letters. It's what's meant to happen, isn't it? My phone was here. Husband gets a rocket and he don't do it again. Yeah, that's right, Reg. Bullseye. All right, love. Yeah, fine, thanks. Right, thank you. Um, just a few words about tonight. Looks like there's uh, six girls in the building, so that's one each, right? Now stay with the girls in their rooms until we've done the walk round, then get them back down the nick nice and quiet. What about our grocer? Well, they're Tom, so I should expect it. Uh, if it doesn't happen, that's a bonus. It did actually seem quite civilised in there, sir. Oh, I bet. Sure, but nobody likes having their house turned over, do they? And I doubt these girls are convent educated, so just be aware. What about the punters, then, sir? Take their names and addresses and lose them, OK? Right, any more questions? Oh, hello, love. You're king. Yeah, I bought some friends. Oh, great. Excuse me. Sorry. What's your game? Shouldn't we be asking you that? Right, take a room each. Stay with the girls. Get the names and dresses of the punters and let them go. Sir, this is a private house. I'm a legitimate landlady who rents out rooms. Oh, you have the rent books, do you? It's an informal arrangement. Yes, I thought it might be. Inland Revenue aware of these informal arrangements, are they? There's a tax inspector upstairs. Why don't you ask him? <sighs> OK, sir. Right, Carol. How about a little guided tour, eh? Hello. Is there a Sergeant Cryer here? Uh, yes, sir. I wondered if I could have a word with him. My name is Duke. Simon Duke. Excuse me. Do we have your name and address, sir? Uh, yes, yes, the lady, uh, the officer took it, yes. OK. Right, last but not least. Large quantity of condoms. For her boyfriend. Oh, that was him just left, was it? Magazines. Educative love. Teach you a few things, I'm sure. I'm arresting you for being concerned in the management of a brothel. You do not have to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be given in evidence. Now, put them all in the van, please. Come on. Why do you bother? Oh, it's no bother. No, you probably enjoy it. You know, you'll sort of make me laugh. Oh, well, that's good, because we aim to please. Yeah, you'll nick us all today. Tonight, yes, you'll be back yes. here wanting it yourself. Come on. Have some quiet, please. Get out of here. We can just have some quiet, please. Has your girl turned up the house? Not yet. Because we really do need to talk to her. Sir. Judging by this lot, she's our best chance for a statement. And let's get them done pronto, shall we, before I go deaf! Oh, Sarge, just to remind you, Mr. Duke is still waiting. Oh, yeah. A rest for the wicked. Is that you or him, Sarge? Yeah. <laughs> is this a bloke whose wife opened the warning letter? Yeah, that's right. He's wetting himself. Yeah, well, let's hope it never happens to you, Rich. Oh, no, I can't see me ever needing to pay for it. Shouldn't have been a naughty boy, should he? George, his wife wouldn't have known anything about vamping for us. And if we're going to get into this, prostitutes wouldn't have to work the streets if raids like this evening didn't happen. Oh, so it's our fault, is it? Well, tell me this, George. What was the point of the raid? I mean, what did it actually do? Well, it showed the community that we're taking action. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was the point of it. But what did it actually achieve? Well, I, I don't know, but... Yeah. It won't stop them tomming. It's illegal. Exactly. That's why it shouldn't be. Men are always, no matter what we or anybody else say, going to use prostitutes. Yeah, and people are always going to use drugs. But it doesn't mean you make it legal. George, drugs kill people. Paying for sex, the act of actually handing over cash for it, 
isn't a health risk. These days? Oh, Dave, you were in there. Now, I mean, apart from anything else, what kind of life is it for the women, eh? Dave? What? The Toms. I mean, it's, it's a pretty scummy existence, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe it's all right. Listen, I'll see you later. I gather my wife spoke to you earlier regarding this letter. Yes. She said you weren't going to prosecute. As it says in the letter, this is a warning. But if we see you again, we will. If you aren't going to prosecute, isn't there a way you could say this is a mistake? No, Mr. Duke. I mean, it's... But it hasn't gone through the system, has it? It's, it's just a letter. And the thing is, you see, unless I can tell my wife there's been a misunderstanding, she's going to leave me. I'm sorry. And I love my wife. Oh, I know from all this business it might seem as a... But I do love her. I'm very happy with her and our children. This has destroyed her. And she'll leave me. My marriage, my family, kaput. Because I've been stupid, because I wanted to pay someone to have sex with me. Do you think that's fair? Whether I think it's fair is irrelevant. You see, you don't. Look, all, all I'm asking is for you to say there was, I don't know, someone got a registration number wrong. I mean, it's possible, isn't it? No. Please. She'll leave me, she will. Please. I'm sorry. We don't make the law, we just enforce it. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine now. I tell you, I knew there was something funny about you. Yeah. So are all the girls down the station then? Well, they're probably on their way home by now. I mean, half an hour of your time, that's all we need. Well, what do you want me to say? You're not in any trouble. We just want to ask you a few questions. About what? Well, about how the house is like. And all the other girls have done it? Yeah, they've all done it. And I wouldn't be dropping anyone in it. We're not asking you to do that. Carol's already in it anyway, so... She's got a kid with her. You guys soft in your old age or what? Right, Mandy, I'm Sergeant Boyden. All right. Let's ask a few questions, and if that goes OK, we'd like to make a statement. I told you I weren't going to grass anyone up. Oh, you're not grassing anyone up, Mandy. Carol's going to be charged anyway. So why do you want me to make a statement, then? Because it would be helpful. So, like, is she going down? Oh, she might do, yeah. Listen, Carol's all right. Well, that's not what you told me this afternoon, Mandy. Well, she's earning a living just like the rest of us. She's being good to us. She's a madam. She's more than that. What do you mean? She looks after us. She looks after me. I thought you looked after you, Mandy. Well, I do, but... Look, Mandy, we brought you in through the front office. We could do this more formally and take you straight to custody. Oh, that's it, is it? If I don't tell you what you want, then I'm nicked. No. Not what we want, just the truth. Carol's all right, though. I can't just drop her in it. Working in a brothel is a serious offence. Well, how do you mean? You can't carry a jail sentence. <laughs> oh, great. Do you want to risk going to jail to protect someone who's been using you? She's not like that. Because that's what she does. She uses people. No. What's the little one's name? Joseph. If you go to jail, you can't keep Joseph. No. Well, you can't keep him in a prison. I haven't done anything. Do you want to lose him because of her? I probably wouldn't even have Joseph if it weren't for her. The state she found me in. What do you mean? I'm talking about the state I were in when I first got here. What about all that woman in control stuff? The loving boyfriend dying to marry you? The loving boyfriend were a one-night stand behind the back of the palace. Producing him. And your family? My dad's the reason I came to London. Why? 
Because the way you were carrying on, I'd have probably had another little one on the way. Carol sorted me out. I were on the streets and she took me in, looked after me. I didn't have any money. I couldn't even earn when I first got there. So she gave me money for food, for clothes for him. She's like that with all of us. But the other girls haven't said not against her, have they? You want me to be the one who drops her in it? She's like our mum. Yeah, well, she may have helped you out, Mandy. But she's still a woman who's making money out of selling your body. You've got to work out where your loyalties lie. With her and with your son. It's up to you. A bit unnecessary, all that, wasn't it? All what? All that heavy stuff. Take your baby away, all that. We got what we wanted. Yeah, but at what cost? She's a storm that goes with the territory. She knows that. She's 16, for God's sake. Oh, yeah, don't I know it. Sweet 16 and she's got you under her spell. What? What, because I'm just thinking she deserves a bit of respect. A bit of understanding of her situation. This way, please. Quick as you like. I'm sorry. What did you tell her? Sorry? To get her to talk. We don't need a statement from anyone. We can charge you as it is. Useful, though. Put the frighteners on her, did you? On a 16-year-old girl? I bet that made you feel good. Did it make you feel good to exploit a 16-year-old for money? I don't exploit her. I give her a chance. Career opportunity, is it? Being a prostitute? Mandy was a prostitute when she came to me. They all were. I just make it safer, happier than it is on the streets. Where do you think she'll go tonight? Spare me the guilt trip. She's not going back to the house, is she? No. She'll go back on the streets if I know Mandy. Get herself a pimp. You think I exploit girls? You see what a pimp will do to her. Put her on smack. Beat her up. Rape her when he feels like it. Think about that, did you? Take recorder, please. Dave? Taped interview with Carol Jane Shaw. Officers present. Feel like you've done a good day's work, do you, lads? Officers present, Sergeant Boyden and PC Quinnan. Bother. Hey? Well, nothing changes, does it? It's our job, though, isn't it? 